18 done right. So, vertices, 9, well, write the equation for the hyperbola. Let's get started and talk about it. x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1 is going to be a hyperbola like this. And the way I taught it was, if it starts with x, then it's our Pac-Man gobbling up the dots on our x-axis. Or, we could look at it like y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. And because it starts with our y, our Pac-Man are going to go up and down, gobbling up the points on the y-axis. So we get started, and we know that this would be a vertex, this would be a vertex, this would be a vertex, vertex. And we get started with this piece of information, vertices 9, 0, negative 9, 0. Now where I made a mistake initially is, and I don't know why I did it, but I picked this one. But we should know right now that that's not right, because if those are our vertices, then our hyperbola slash two parabolas facing opposite directions are going to look somewhat like that. So now, we've got a whole bunch of clues. This distance is always A. From the center of the hyperbola to the vertex is always A. So we know that's 9. We know it's not this. We know it is this. So we can start filling in some pieces. If A is 9, then A squared must be 81. Now that was supposed to be the easy part, and that's the part I screwed up right away. So, what's the hard part? We've got to find B. Notice they tell us the asymptote is plus or minus two-thirds. Now don't forget, this right here is our slope. And our slope is always rise over run. Notice, this is our run. If we were to build our box, we'd go nine this way or nine this way. But we need to figure out what our rise is to build our box. So that's going to be our B. Our B is going to be, what's the rise? Well, notice we have a little fraction here, two-thirds. They're saying two-thirds. In other words, our rise over our run is going to simplify to two-thirds. Now notice our run, notice it's going left, is nine. I'm ignoring the plus and minus business for now, so I'm just trying to figure out what in the world needs to be up here. Now there's really three ways to go at it. Number one, three times what is nine? Three. So three times two is six. So I'm going to put an x there for now. We know it's six, but that's one way to look at it. The other way is, what could I just put in here so that this fraction would reduce to two-thirds? Some of your brains work that way. And that would have to be a 6, because 6 ninths reduces to 2 thirds. But the old standby is cross multiply. 3x, if fractions are equal, so are their cross products. Divide by 3, divide by 3. No, no matter how you slice it, x is 3. Now what is x? x is our rise, which would be our b. So we'd have to go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's our b. And it doesn't say, draw the equation. This grid is here for us to kind of just analyze it. So our rise is 6, our run is 9, that reduces to 2 thirds, which matches. But essentially it tells us that if b is 6, then I know b squared is 36. So it's x squared over 81 minus y squared over 36 equals 1. Don't forget, when they give you this asymptote, it's always rise over run. And in this drawing, because our hyperbolas are going this way, our A is our run, and our B is our rise. So, on these types of hyperbolas, it's Y equals plus or minus B over A. But, if they were parabolas like excuse me, hyperbolas like this, then our A would be our rise, and our B would be our run, so we'd go Y equals plus or minus A over BX. So it depends on which way the 
hyperbola is going. But this is our answer, and we nailed it that time. All right, sorry about the confusion on my initial attempt.